All right, here we go. Gonna take my intake off and place some fuel lines. And it all starts here. You can see how gross it is in there. Get this all pulled off and do a side-by-side -side comparison. But get this out of the way. Take this off. I guess take my EGR valve. Or this is my EGR valve. This is my CDR valve. Take the CDR valve off. So get cracking. So I got the bracket off. That goes from. See it here. These two bolts over to here. And of course, like everything, I take off. It's a little bit rusty. I think I may end up just sanding and painting all day today. But, anyways, disconnected the CDR valve and it's a little gummy. Not gummy, but got oil. Oil in it. See there? And all over there. Oily. Which is causing all the gunk in there. So, I'm guessing that's kind of normal. Not really sure how this comes off. It seems like it's just... Yeah, there it goes. Hmm. Yummy. Interesting. Almost looks like there's steel wool up in there. Anyways, since God only knows the next time I'll have this open, I want to get a good view. There you have it. So it looks like what's next is this, I gotta take this little like, looks like vacuum pump, like distributor, electrically controlled, right here. Um, it's bolted on to the intake, I don't know if you can see it, right through there, there's a bolt there and there's a bolt there. So, I gotta get that off, the other truck didn't have that. Wondering, once again, if it's more emissions crap, since mine's only a 1500. So, I gotta get that out of the way. So what I ended up doing was just zip tying this little distributor up here so it's out of the way so I can get to this bolt and this this bolt back here. Um, so I have to remove this bracket and then the wires that were connected up to it. I'm just gonna push those out of the way for now. But at least that zip tie will hold it up out of my way so I can work. So I'm wondering how good that little um, vertical hoses. Looks pretty cracked. Pretty cracked. Yeah. I don't really know what, what, what all the vacuum is used for on this thing. I mean, I know it controls the EGR valve, but other than that, no idea. Alright, so to get that bracket off, it's connected here and here, I had to actually completely Disconnect this little looks like a distributor or something right there. I had to take this guy off. He's connected two bolts, one on either side on the bottom there. So now he's free. So now I can start working on these. Alright, so you can see the mess I made here. This was on there. Like that another nut on top and then this uh, other wire is on here too and I was spinning the whole 
instead of spinning just the nuts, I was spinning the whole bolt that actually goes you know, down, that actually connects the intake. I was spinning this whole thing right there. So that was fun. Now these are all tangled up and hopefully I didn't screw them up too badly. But <clears throat> moving on, but this vacuum pump is right in the way of that back bolt there. It's really hard to hold myself up. There, back there. Just barely see it. There. So I gotta move this, which I guess I have to move that bolt right there. Yeah. So I can spin this out of the way. I better get that back bolt before I do that, just to make sure. But right. coming along, coming along. Alright, so we got all the bolts out. Both sides. Now the tricky bit, at least when I had it in the junkyard, is trying to get these out of the way, slide them off. Uh, I have to get some pliers for that without bending them so horribly that I can't use them again. I took the ones from the junkyard suburban just in case, but I ended up mangling them pretty good. But I think once I get those off, then the intake should break free.